Hello everyone. Until I injured my knee last year, I used to run quite regularly, sometimes quite long distances. One of the things they always talk about with long distance running is the wall. Specifically, it refers to what happens in your body in a marathon at around 18 miles when your body's natural energy runs out. But psychologically, we can all hit a wall in much of the exercise we do, or indeed in the challenges that we face in life. We may have been feeling like we're facing a hundred walls a day at the moment. That point at which we want to stop, to give up, the point at which it's just no fun anymore. You may well have heard an inspirational talk or sermon about this already. So am I just about to add another one? Well, I hope not, because actually I find some of the language around facing the wall very unhelpful. Some inspirational coaches will talk as if when you hit that wall, you find that inner power and smash through it. In my experience, often the way to get through doesn't involve anything close to a smash. The way to get through is to keep on stepping on. Yes, finding resources we didn't know we had, but finding them moment by moment. Paul, who travelled around sharing the news of Jesus and then wrote lots of letters to the people he shared it with to encourage them to keep going, letters that we find in the Bible, encouraged us to run the race set before us. Not smash it, just keep going. At these times, it can feel as if there were walls all around. Walls of the pressure of expectation from others. Walls of the thought of months of this laying ahead. Walls telling us we don't, we can't do this. Walls that seem so much bigger because we're being forced to face them alone. My prayer is that we can all climb each wall that comes. Just by keeping on, keeping on. If you manage to smash it, then great. But let's aim to just keep going and I pray that, that you will know Jesus alongside you as you do.